What's going on? Cindy, come back. Don't go running into the street. You get him. Oh, no! Welcome back, everybody, to kindergarten. Today, actually, we're testing out something new here. I've got my very own green screen. I can do cool stuff. Like, I can pretend I am in the Windows desktop background. I can be in space. So I'm still working out on where to place it for certain videos and whatnot, which is a little bit of experimenting. But welcome back, everybody, to some kindergarten. If you guys missed the last episode, ho, 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 you missed out on the last episode. I right, go back, stop, go back, watch it lit things. Um, so at the end of that episode, we did manage to get a note from Nugget. Uh, now, I'm going to give this to Lily at the start of school, and I think it starts at a whole quest line um, in trying to get to the principal or find Billy. We've never seen Billy. We don't know what Billy's about. I'm going to go with this and uh, see how we go. But of course, like always, guys, if you are enjoying the kindergarten experience, please do let me know a like rating down below. I think we're committed to finishing this game. And uh, I think we'll do like bi daily uploads on this. So every second day, come back. But of course, every day we'll have lit things. Yesterday I played RuneScape, it was fun. All right, I'm ready to start another game of kindergarten. Yes, I am. Okay, so let's give this to Lily at the start of the day, okay? Let's see what she says. Oh, hey, Lily, you probably heard of me. Uh, yep, this is Billy. What is that? It looks like Billy's handwriting. Where did you get this? What do you know? Nugget gave it to me. Okay, I knew Nugget was holding out on me. Do you know what it says? I can't read it as well as my brother could. Yes, yeah, so she can't read. That's a bit of a problem. Well, then you have to find someone who can. Hurry. Okay, I know Mrs. Jiggly Tits can. Um, okay, what about Morty? A Mon I keep calling him Morty. Monty. Okay, Monty can read this. Okay, interesting. Okay, let's see if he can do it. Sure, I'll read a few, but it's going to cost you a buck. All right, bang, it's deal. Okay, I'm glad I took money with me. It says something about a hatch in the principal's office that can be opened with the code written below. What's the code? That's where the handwriting gets especially terrible. This is going to take me a while to decipher. I'll, I'll try to have it figured out for you by lunch. Okay, interesting. So we're going to try and get into the principal's office, and this is the code for the principal's office. However, comma, we need to get the key to the principal's office, which means we need to get the thing done by Monty first. So let's just try and play this out. Let's try to get some Monster Mon cards on the side. So one Monster Mon card that I saw that I could get uh, was apparently if I get the pill off of Nugget. So I've already done most of this dialogue. I, you know, for the most part, if it's dialogue I've already seen, then I'm just going to go ahead and skip over for the most part because we already know what it is. Uh, so yeah, the principal gave you pills. Yep. Is that legal? Probably not. You don't find it suspicious, of course. Okay. Enjoy the pill. Then if I go to Cindy, uh, I want to be my boyfriend. Like what? Yes. So if I go over there and uh, put the gum in her hair and start that quest line, but I want to see, well, what did she, it say? Something about a secret hatch in the principal's office. A secret hatch. That's probably where he's keeping Billy. We've got to get in there. We have to save him. Only, dot, dot, dot. I need a way to get in there without the principal knowing. I've got a plan, but it requires getting a phone and a key to the principal's office. So not only do you have to get a key, you have to get the phone as well. How do you get the phone? I know how to get the key. I don't know. I know the teacher has one, but I'm not sure how to get it off her. That's something more up Bugs' alley. Okay. Either way, the note is a great start. Thanks a bunch. So, okay. This is a cluster fudge. Uh, good morning children. It's time for you to pick your buddies for morning tea or you can be sympathetic. Okay, so let's chat to Bugs here and see if he'll know anything about this. Why the hell do you think I'll be a morning buddy? Okay, so he's not giving us any time of day. Okay, so we're gonna put uh, gum in Lily's hair. We're doing this only to get the Monster Mon card though. So this is a, an interesting Monster Mon card you do. Uh, so when you get to this point, uh, you go here and then you go, yes, dear. Uh, uh, no, I'm just tired. And then she gives you a breathalyzer. And then you say, I'll take the test. And then you say, be a father, question mark. And she says, you're in prison. And I say, um, we can work this through. Sniff, you think so? Yes, I do. And then you abort the baby. And she says, yeah, well, that's what I was thinking about. But I don't know exactly how to do it. I think there's a pill you can take. And then I say, I have the pill you can take. Perfect. And then she takes the pill. Who knew abortion would feel so nice? You're the best boyfriend ever. I think you've earned a special treat. You can have the sponsor one card since you went the extra mile here and actually had an abortion pill. So someone gave me that... Uh, comment look i so unethical giving yeah whatever i got a, i got a card deal with it um we should totally have lunch together i'll see you in the cafeteria so i don't really care about her anymore although i could i might do that whole path where i dump the thing on her that that could be interesting actually I, i'd be down for that um i don't know if i have enough time to buy a yo yo go out and get the money and come back without getting in trouble all right let's try and do it okay if i go to him 
Ah, so I actually just lost out there. So I know later on, oh, here we go. He, he's deciphered the note. Okay, I might have to write this down or something. It might get kept as a hint. So did you decipher the note? Psh, of course I did. I wrote it in the back of the note. Here you go, have fun with that. Okay, so four, eight, five, one. So I'm now somehow from here, meant to get out there. I think Lily's not happy with me at all. Please don't sit with me. I don't want to talk to you until I find my brother. Okay, you're cool. So this code really doesn't mean anything to me. Okay, I hope I've got enough apples to do this quest still. Okay, hopefully I should be fine. I feel like as soon as I grab the bucket, the bell's gonna go off. Yes, and I'm going to die right about now. Fuck. Yep, cool. Lit. I love being dead too. All right, so I'm just not gonna waste my time getting the code, it doesn't do anything for me. All right, so I've got the bucket of blood now. Um, This is gonna be interesting. Uh, we're gonna dump this on Cindy and uh, I don't know how this is gonna go down because I've always dumped it on the other two. Whoa, whoa, okay, that was weird for a second. I've never climbed the ladder that way. Interesting. I normally climb it from the right. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna dump it on Cindy instead of Lily and see what happens. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Oh, she just runs off. What's going on? Cindy, come back. Don't go running into the street. You get Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> I keep telling the prince when you put a fence there. Okay, children, there's been an accident that I don't want to get blamed for. We're going to cut a recess. A little short today. Everyone head inside. Oh, I thought I might have been able to grab her boot or something. Come on down for that. I'd like to have a little chat with you before we go back inside. Oh, no. I think I'm going to get in trouble here. This is Cindy's shoe. It's a little bloody, but you probably would have wanted me to have it or something. I'll take it. Okay, thank you so much for doing that. Oh, fuck. You're thanking me for killing Cindy? Oh, yes, indeed I am. Do you know how long I wanted that little snot dead? I tried poisoning her once, but apparently poison isn't vegan enough for her. She doesn't know what vegan means. I know that girl can only be dumber for parents with siblings, if you know what I mean. Jesus. <laughs> I want you to have this gold star for doing the world a favor. Just don't tell anyone how you got it. Also, as a special treat, since there was blood involved and I got to watch, here's a monster on card. <laughs> oh my god, you're welcome. I'd say back inside. Yo, so what do I do with these gold stars? Uh, let's look at it for show and tell. What did you bring? I'm gonna show the, the Cindy shoe. Oh, this is Cindy shoe, isn't it? Yes. What happened to her was so tee tragic. Thank you so much for reminding me of the wonderful tragic events of this afternoon. <laughs> oh yeah, this is about hope you guys had a fun day. I'll see you tomorrow. Walking away with two Monstermon cards. Um, and I don't know if the gold star does anything. Ah, jeez, I don't know what you do with the gold stars. And we got money for the piggy bank. Oh, but we lost money because we Yeah. Alright, so now my next focus is trying to get the 20 bucks for the key from Jerome. Um, but first, I'm thinking I might do something with the teacher. Um, because she had that kind of side quest open up yesterday, but I don't have bugs to, I don't have enough money to get bugs on my bad side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just try and make money. So I'm pretty much gonna do every money making method I can so I can start the day with a good enough uh, money for the next day. So the only thing I really know what to do here is to sell the pills and get a buck for it. So this is actually a double whammy, uh, this one right here, uh, because uh, not only will I get the five bucks from the janitor's closet, but I can actually get money from the janitor somehow. So if I go on the janitor place, I can apparently talk to him. What's in those bags? I don't see those bags. Those bags. Oh, these bags. Don't need to worry. It's too bad. Now run along. Oh, yes. The uh, bleeding. Say, did you know I'm required by law to stay at least one mop's length away from children at all times? How did the judgment get passed on? What's that got to do with bleeding? Quite a bit, actually, if you catch my drift. I don't follow. Why, well, really, I asked you, kid. Oh, well, at least I can read the school's test. Your average is up. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Uh, I've stopped the whole fucking room again. <laughs> I would catch his trip next time. <laughs> I know there's a way to work it so that I can get him to, like, be on my good side about the bags or something. Okay, let's try something else. I don't even want to know. Alright, uh, no. Hey, what's going on there, boy? What's in those bags? What bags? I don't see those bags. You're kidding, right? Oh, these bags. Let me worry your stupid little head about. Now run along. Uh, it's bleeding. Oh, yeah. Say, did you know I'm required by law? How did that judgment get passed down? How did that judge me? It's a long story, but it ends with someone on the end of a mop. Sounds riveting. It is, but that's a tale for another time. I'm morbidly curious. Oh, fuck. It's gonna... I think I'm not gonna... Me too. That's what got me into this mess in the first place. Anyway, I don't think it would be appropriate for you to tell someone of that age a story. But it's okay for me to see a bloody bag in a bin. 
Ryan, are you sure our chipper young sport here? Take this nickel and buy yourself a bar of chocolate. This is what I was meant to do. Uh, a nickel won't cut it. What do you mean a nickel won't cut it? A nickel is going to have to cut it or I'm going to have to cut you. Chocolate is more expensive than a nickel. Oh, in that case, I'll let the old lunch lady know to give you a chocolate at a price you would have seen back in my day before the whole mop incident. How about that? Okay, good. Now skedaddle. Skedaddle. Now that's the bell. What are you doing here? Get back to class. Okay, geez. So he's going to hook it up with the lunchtime lady. I failed my boy Jerome here. Now, but because I've done it in this order, I should have actually given Monty the key here. I would have got this. So I couldn't get it. Um, cool, man. Thanks. So I get to keep the whole pass, and then I go to Monty, and I can sell it to him for five bucks, I think. So I want to sell it. Uh, whole pass. Oh, snap. We'll give you five bucks for it. Pleasure doing business with you. I don't do anything else. So, okay, she's going to bounce. Don't care about her. But then if I go to the old lunchtime lady, she'll give me uh, a chocolate bar for cheap. Uh, got anything else? Uh, the janitor said I could get it cheaper. Oh, you must be the janitor's new little friend. Yep, he said you're a good kid. I can let you have the chocolate bar for a nickel. Deal. Okay, you enjoy that, kiddo. Have a nice day. So now I've got the chocolate bar, I can go up to Monty and sell it to him. Uh, for good cash. Chocolate bar. Bar of chocolate? How did you manage to get that? It's almost worth its weight in gold. Emphasis on the almost. I'll give you $5 for it. Deal. Okay. So, between this, I've almost gotten myself enough. With enough, if I just pressed during recess, uh, nothing but apples. Oh, but I started the day with 30 cents less than I should have. So I should be able to, if I do the same method. Oh no, I've got, I fucked myself over here. So I hope everyone's had a good recess. Let's get ready for show and tell. And you need to bring anything. You realize that it's pretty much the only thing you have to do in my class. I must say I'm a little offended. Go to the principal's office. That'll teach you. So if you don't bring anything, then students who can't even do simple things in kindergarten are likely to bring test scores down. So, so that means less funding for the school. A big fancy statue in the playground don't buy themselves, you know. Okay, I get it. I'm sorry, but I can't have you averages down. Consider yourself expelled. That seems a little harsh. And that's even worse. Fuck. I have to restart the day now. All right, so I just went ahead and did the whole day. Uh, walked out, this time with a nugget to give off to show and tell. Uh, gonna be ending it with $19.15. Uh, that's good, that's good money for the piggy bank. And now I can start with $3, which should be enough to get $20 by the end of the day and get this key made into a mold. So let's grab our key molds. And let's bring, oh wow, you can't go above 10 bucks. And if I brought that, then that means bugs would take half, which is up to five. Yeah, interesting. I'm only gonna take three because I only need three. This is operation, get the key molded. That's all we care about here. All right, and we actually do need that pill because that pill's an extra buck and we need it badly. So pretty much to make the money for this one, uh, the whole 20 bucks, we're gonna get the pill, sell it for a dollar. Uh, we'll first off get the key made. Uh, so that's actually another 25 cents we lose by getting that one apple taken. All right, so we're walking in with $4.50. Oh, I didn't buy the yo-yo. Restart day. All right, so we're going to the classroom with $3.25 and a yo-yo. So with this money, I can then use it to get another $10 through the chocolate. So this whole play here gets me like $14.95 because you have to spend the nickel for the thing. But hopefully you make the rest back up from just picking up uh, change off the floor and that's only like a buck in there. So you don't really care about that So yeah, three dollars twenty five five dollars from the janitor spend five cents on a chocolate bar Oh, okay. This is interesting. Uh, I've also got to make sure I get slop here to do for show and tell That's actually key because I need because if you don't anything for show and tell you you die anyway That might be the difference between life or death here. Okay. I want to sell something. What do you got? Okay I got a chocolate bar sell that for five dollars. I've got a whole pass sell that for five dollars Uh, i've got to make up. I think i'm gonna be five cents short here I think the math might bend me over here because i'll get i'm actually gonna end up with five cents short Yeah, I am unless there's some way I can make money here. Does he buy slop for anything? That's not right. This is disgusting. Oh, what am I kidding? No, I, I did the I did the math wrong. No, I've got this easy. Oh, no, I don't have it. No, I don't have it. No, I don't. Because five times two. I'm 30 cents short. Ah, uh, well, that was a failure of a day. We were 30 cents off making the dream real. But instead, we failed. All right, I'm starting the day with $7. Bugs is going to take half, but it'll net me uh, with enough money to actually do it this time. That's kind of depressing. Unless there's a rule that I will get completely screwed. All right, so this way I walk out with 50 cents more and it should be enough. Oh, but then I lose. But I lose 25 cents then because that took an apple. So I actually got to come with more now. 
just gets easy. It just gets harder and harder. I'm gonna take eight bucks. Actually, I'm playing it safe just in case for some math comes out of nowhere. Eight dollars fifty. I hope there's not some rule where if it's over a certain amount, he'll just kill me. Now, don't go tell him this. You might have. End. Okay, yeah. All right, let's do it all over again. Okay, so yeah, it's like a dollar difference uh, now because I'm walking in with four dollars twenty-five opposed to three dollars twenty-five. This should work. So I'm pretty much just repeating all those steps to get back up to where we were before. Yeah, we should have 20 bucks. All right, now, if I have calculated this correctly, we only need to end the day with uh, picking up coins a couple times. I've got slop for show and tell. Ah, oh, what a stressful, stressful process. 20 bucks, find me. Pretty sure you wouldn't be able to pass a drug test after reading that. <laughs> anyway, who's next? All right, that's it. Give us the key, Monty boy. Give us the key. Let's see it. Whew, a lot of hard work went into that one. Okay, kid, it's the end of the day. You got the money? Yeah, I do. All right, wow. You raised all that in one day? Yeah, I did. I'm impressed. Thanks. Whatever you plan on doing with that key, be careful. Something fishy is going on at this school. I will. Big ups, Monty. See you around. Pleasure doing business with you. It's been a pleasure. Achievement unlocked money bags. Key to the principal's office. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do for kindergarten today. Be sure to come back. I think I might do it tomorrow. I tell you what, if this video hits 5k likes, I will do a kindergarten again tomorrow. If not, expect some. I'm thinking Rocket League, maybe an Ark Survival of the Fittest. I don't know. We like to mix it up here on the second channel. Of course, if you are enjoying the stuff, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Let me know what you think of the green screen as well.